Hey guys, it's uh, Monday afternoon. I'm sitting in the car rider line to pick Micah up from school and I thought I'd take a quick minute to um, give a little bit of detail and some explanation that may be helpful regarding uh, Commitment Sunday coming up this Sunday. I know that um, there are some questions in terms of, you know, is this something that we do as a couple? What does this really mean? Um, do my children participate? Um, what am I committing to? What's the difference between covenant commitment, community partner, you know, those kind of things. So I just wanted to, first of all, say that I don't want us to overthink it. Um, you know, it really is, a, this is really about celebration of relationships. It's a celebration of what God's doing in building this new church. Uh, so don't overthink it. Um, you're not going to be held to, um, you know, um, unknowable, un attainable standards in any case. You know, nothing really changes. The main thing is that it gives you and, and me and all of us an opportunity to express that we're committed to one another. That's, that's really the big thing. Uh, so that when you have a need, when I have a need, um, we know who is in our corner. And when there are opportunities and there are uh, things that come up in the church, we know who can I call, who is kind of a, a part of this who said, hey, I've got a stake in the ground. I've got an investment in this that uh, that we can help. We also know that there are people that are part of this um, community, this church community, that are really not so much players on the field, but maybe um, maybe fans in the stands. They're fans of Good News Church, but they're not really in a position or they're not ready to you know, be in a, in a place where they'd say, hey, call on me for these things or um, consider me as a, a part of the committed core. That's totally fine. That's totally fine. Um, so, but we're trying to figure out kind of who are the players and who are the fans. That's sort of the, the big thing. Um, so, uh, the other, I guess, covenant, you know, commitment, covenant partners are those who would say that I embrace the beliefs, um, of Good News Church and, um, community partners would say, I, I embrace the behaviors. I'm not really, either I'm unsure, I'm not yet there on the beliefs or, or I don't embrace the beliefs, but I embrace what this community is all about. Uh, so that may help. As far as um, coming in as a couple, I would say is, yeah, try and be on the same page as a couple. And if if you're in different places, then wait. Um, unless there there could be some circumstances that would say, yeah, it's fine for you to come in and make different commitments or one make a commitment and one not. Uh, and then for the kids, you know, I'd say probably elementary for the most part, um, may want to wait for them to the important thing is to understand what they're committing to. So that may be more appropriate for middle schoolers and high schoolers and that type of thing. But I want you to hear me say there's no pressure. There's no pressure to do anything this Sunday. This is the first Sunday um, for the rest of the life of the church that we can make our commitment. And uh, so there's no pressure. And if you're not sure what to do, then I'd say maybe wait. You know, that's okay. That's perfectly fine. It's uh, um, at one, you know, I said don't take it, um, don't, don't overthink it, but also consider it. It's, you know, we're making a commitment to each other. So it's an important thing. It's an important thing, but don't be paralyzed, um, by, by overthinking it. So if you have any questions, feel free to, you know, reach out to me and, uh, you can call me, you can text me or email, and I'd be happy to talk through some maybe more specific questions you might have. It's going to be a fun Sunday. It's going to be a great Sunday. And you know what? If you make a commitment and then in a week you go, I think I, I think I may have pulled the trigger too early on that uh, and I changed my mind. Or maybe I made the, I need to change my commitment. That's fine. You can do that anytime. You're not committing for any length of time. We're just saying, you know, who, who's a player, who's a fan, kind of um, where are we as we move forward as a church? You know, the IRS just uh, sort of approved us and, and validated us as a 501c3 and in some ways us making our commitments to each other begins to formalize and validate um, our commitments and, and what God is doing in starting this new church body. So that's really uh, more of what it's about. But anyway, I hope that's helpful. I may be rambling. Uh, I think Mike is getting ready to come out here in a minute. So I uh, got to go, but have a great week. Catch you up with you later.